My piece, we have funny wall. We made it. <laughs> I made a small setup and you know set up the camera. Actually, it's an old camera, but it will do the job. Um, um, we're gonna play Black today. It's an indie horror game. I hope you like it, and I hope you like my face. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Oh, so, um, let's begin this game. Alright, again, let's do it. Cause I played a bit, but you know I exit. So, hello. Hello. Who are you? Uh, who are you? Who are you? Dude, is that all the only thing you can say? No, who are you? I am a man. Okay. Where am I? Where is this place? Here. Well, let's give him a voice. Here. Where is here? <laughs> you don't talk much, do you? And he's hungry. That's no. That's when you know shit's gonna go wrong. You have a nice smell. I really should go now. No, stay. Come. Why the fuck not? Let's go. What do you want from me? Okay. Eat. You and no thanks. I'm not hungry. Eat. No. Eat. No. Why not? That's, uh, I don't know. I'm not scared of you. Because I won't do the bidding of a stupid, creepy creature. That's in his face. He tosses the meat to you anyway. Ask what it is, cook it, leave it there, eat it raw. Oh, fuck you. Let's not even talk to him. You leave it there, not daring to pick it up. The cell soaked of the blood, turning purple around it. Ew. That's, that's good. What did you say? The fuck, man? Okay, this silence is airy, but the creature seems to be waiting to talk to me, to a certain degree. Maybe I should try and start a conversation with him. Perfect logic, you know? Creature, this is meat, it turns purple, you want to, he wants you to eat it, and you go make a com conversation with him, that's, that's good. Oh, fuck off, don't be aggressive. What are you? What did you bring me here? What do you want? Bitch. <laughs> Speak. Where are you from? That's not what I asked. Where are you from? Let's be evasive, man, screw you. Somewhere you wouldn't know, motherfucker. Soon it will be dark and cold. Okay. Aren't you cold? Hmm. Maybe this hmm, shrugs me, you know. <laughs> I'm starting a fire, alright? I'm just letting you know, you know, don't, don't fucking, don't. Good boy. Ah, you're ugly. You are the rudest monster I've ever seen. Whoa, so out of the blue. Exactly, out of the blue you call me ugly? I want to see your face. Thanks, I guess. Have you seen yourself yet? Have you seen yourself? Oh, wait. Neither have I. I can't say that he doesn't. But not scary. I'm ugly, but not scary? Thank you. There are scarier things. And he makes a scratching sound. Shit. And a creepy mouse. Exactly. Peace, peace. This, this is so peaceful, you know? Is he sharpening his spear? Fuck yeah. <laughs> and he's hungry? I'm dead. Sleep. Okay, he... I don't know. That's it, or... The creature is gone, okay. Flee, sleep. Flee? No, let's say, let's say sleep, okay. <laughs> the door came really fast, okay. But there's no way I'm sleeping. Of course. He's probably waiting in the shadows for me to lower my guard and then... What? Kill me? Or eat me? Who knows? I need to find him, enter the gay cave. Better stay here. Let's let's go in. What was that? That was loud in my ear. Ouch. The fire. The fire is gone or something? Okay. I grabbed one of the logs and started to wave around blindly. Show yourself! Be strong. You coward! What do you want from me? You know, these kind of talks. A man is bad, but smell is good. Get away from me! Yeah, and he is gone. He's gone, yeah. What the? That's it? I need to find him. The coals are still hot. After blowing on them, they let up again. Your hands are shaking a little as you take up a log from the fireplace, and then you enter the darkness. What a, what a, what a beautiful logic. What a beautiful game. Okay. I feel tense, like I live wire. My insides are twisting. It's so dark. Shit's gonna happen. Shit's already happened. 
and a bloody mouse. That's 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 good. You know, like <laughs> you won't scare me. You hear me? This ends now. Okay, after this lame acting, I guess something could happen. There's a passage. Let's go in. That's that's perfect. And a uh, lake. At least I know I won't die of thirst. Yeah, and I know how to swim, so that's good, you know. <laughs> if I don't die of something else, I look around, but the darkness is too thick. Seems there's nothing here. I turn around, ready to enter the passage again, where suddenly... Oh my god, what's that? I see him. Is that his eyes or something? Damn. Okay, let's save. Quick save complete. Okay. I see him on the ground. Sleeping. Or pretending to. I can hardly suppress to reach. He's, mo he's, he's monster. He's monstrous. It's the ugliest, most hideous thing I've ever seen in my life. I've ever seen him alive. <laughs> Carefully, ever so careful, I take his spear, now armed, I know what I must do. Kill him, or don't. Well, that will be a short game. Let's, let's extend it a bit. I look at him in the dark, he sleeps peacefully, with a smile, somewhat creepy, but he almost seems content. Okay, as ugly as this creature may be, he looks like a child. Oh. That changes a lot. I stayed and he's tear in his sleeps. The light from the torch makes him wakes him. He immediately widens his eyes and jumps back into the darkness, hissing. That's creepy. If I ever heard that in the darkness, I'm gonna start a war. He's dating the ground friend Frenchly? Frenchly? Let's say it's Frenchly, okay? Pardon my English, I'm Egyptian. It's just my second language, it's not my first. Searching for his spear! So he's an idiot. I took your spear, idiot. Don't even think about it. I have your weapon. I grab the spear tighter, my heart exploding in my chest like boom 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 boom. I hope I hope you heard that. <laughs> that was cool. Now give me a good reason not to kill you. He launched at me. I brace for impact, but instead he runs past me. Like past me like this, right? Yeah. Into the tunnel. Again. Okay. The tunnel leads me back to the fireplace. Okay, worry. I scan my surroundings in search of him, ready to attack. I don't know what you were trying to do before, but I'm not scared of you. Understand? Come out! I didn't have to shout. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just got a little bit excited. <laughs> Look, I know you want to kill me. He, he wants to eat you. wants to kill you. <laughs> but it doesn't have to be that way. We don't have to be enemies. If you promise you won't attack me again, I'm willing to forget about it. We can start over. We can help each other. Okay. As a sign of my good intentions, I let, my, I let the spear fall, out, fall to the ground. Well, he's a child. I guess we can handle him as a child. I don't know. It's risky. But it's the only way. Of course it is. And he's hungry. Pick up your spear again. Pick up your spear. Pick oh, his eyes. His eyes look innocent. What's your answer? Ah, uh, he's mean. He's mean. Pick up your spear, man. Man, pick up your spear. Your stomach is always growling. My stomach is always growling? But you waste food and leave on the floor. What? Did I miss something here? There is no more food left here. I'm sorry? I thought you were trying to poison me with this piece of meat. I wasn't. I was just being nice. What? <laughs> you have a really creepy way of showing it. If I let you live, you'll kill me and eat me. What the fuck? Wait, wait. Maybe I'm looking at it's like a uh, you know schizophrenic thing. Would you have you like bipolar or something? It's uh, would you have two personalities? What? I won't. I'm no cannibal, and I thought the same of you. Fakes a puke. Ugh, like, ugh. <laughs> I would never eat you. I don't eat humans. Sure. Or maybe now someone will magically appear to tell me I'm wrong. I laugh sarcastically. <laughs> no, no, that's <laughs> that's psychopathically. That's sarcastic. <laughs> yeah, that's like. <laughs> Okay, no, that's imp no, that's impossible. There is no one else here. Never been until you. Anyway, I can just go and search for food outside, don't you think? Why should I stay here? Actually, if you feared that form of if, if you feared that from the beginning, you should have just let me go. You're not making much sense right now, or maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. I, I'm I'm messed up right now. My mind is like. I will leave, so you won't have to kill me, okay? You can't. And why is that? It's dangerous. Now let's, let's do that. It's dangerous. I... Ah. 
More reasons to let me go if you want me dead, don't you think? I want you dead, it's true. Man, what's wrong, man? What the fuck is wrong with you, man? What did I ever do to you? Why did you do this to me? You know I'm mistaken because I came with you in the first place. Fuck you! But I didn't attack you. But I didn't attack you. Well... That's kinda true. What? Don't lie. I clearly saw you and you just said there's no one else here. No one, yes. S only them. You know, this game sounds like the series Lost. You know, which everything is... Uh, I don't <laughs> forget it. <laughs> them. Mm -hmm. Those things. What things? They become your nightmares, your fears. I don't know how they do it, but they do. He does sound like a child, you know, the way the the writing is written. It sounds like a child said it. They can even get in here if you are not careful. But that's not a sound of a child. I should make a creepy child. What, what sound of a creepy child I should make? Wait, are you trying to tell me that there are creatures here? Who enter you? Who enter your thoughts and materializes your fear? Who enter your thoughts and materializes your fears? Mm hmm. So it wasn't you who tried to kill me? And I'm just imagining it? Mm hmm. Whatever. There's white. Whatever, there's white. They can show their faces and whatever. <laughs> I scoff incredulous. Incredulous? I have no idea. All this situation seemed too much absurd and this. discordant to me. I'm sorry because the light also doesn't make me see, so please bear with me. They. then why didn't you let me go outside and let me kill. let them kill me? If you were so afraid of me. Why? I wanted to know you first. Are you my girlfriend or something? You're a child. I'm not a butterfly. <laughs> and now that you know me, that's the verdict. You are a jerk. Man, this game is weird. This game is weird. Why, thank you, but that's because you were being a jerk to me too, you know? If you remember, I wasn't. Forcing me to follow you, not answering questions, telling me smell nice. And, you know, doing this weird, weird, you know, atomic growling stuff that you're hungry and you tell me I smell nice and then uh, you said it like you want to cook me and eat me as a dessert I shouldn't probably give him ideas yeah you shouldn't but you do I do smell nice I smell sweat and dirt that's good that's not good well compared to him I might as well smell like a flowery meadow, meadow. but am I believing this? I have no idea let's just say this but in reality well kinda believe him about it because it's almost maybe I'm crazy let's say yes alright then what about the smell you gave me? Well, while sharpening your spear. The smile you gave me while sharpening your spear. Yeah. My spear. Okay, my camera's dying, so we have to be fast. I wasn't sharpening anything. So I must have imagined it all, you know? Imagination. He seems genuinely conscious. Uh, then, then what was the sound? He goes suddenly quiet. He seems hesitant. Almost ti timed. He brings a close fist to his chest. Then he looks at you. Quickly lowering his gaze again. Like this. Okay, that that was bad, I'm sorry. <laughs> Something rolls and stops short in front of you. What's this? Is this some kind of warping? I pick it up. Inside, oh, it's wrapped, and inside it, there's some kind of black stone. They're afraid of this color. If you paint your face and clothes with it, you'll leave you. they will leave you alone. Okay, didn't you want to kill me? As if the answer to that question is almost too much for him. He leaves before he can say something else. And he left. He leaves the spear behind. I'm left here alone. I examine the rock in my hand. It's some sort of a charcoal that leaves a sticky black powder on my skin, turning it pitch black. I'm about to toss the wrapping aside when, at the last moment, I realize it's a paper. Folded in two. Opening it, I find something unexpected. A drawing. Sketched on it. In a sailor child fashion. In a clear... Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm sorry. In a clear child fashion. Are you figures holding hands? Sketched on it in a clear child fashion. Are two figures holding hands? The creature and I. I looked at the drawing in my hands at the charcoal and then outside. It's still dark, but soon the sun will rise. Flee, stay with them, kill them. No, I, I gotta know the rest of the story. And what's wrong with the paper? I stepped over the spear oh, and go into the darkness. Well, he looks sad. What's wrong? Oh. Yeah, it's kind of... It's turning into a drama right now. <laughs> I see him by a lake, crouched crouch down with his feet dangling over the water, his arms around his belly, his back to me. Kid? 
He's a kid. He's a child. He turns eyes. He turns his eyes towards me. I extend my hand. He takes it. My memory is slowly starting to come back to me. I lost my memory. It is a dramatical. And that child is, must be related to me. He must be my son. That's it. I was a passenger in a ship. Flying towards a new home. We crashed and no one else seemed to have survived except me. The little guy confirmed it. Apparently, he saw everything. He was investigating the wreckage when he found me. Oh, so he's not my son. Okay. And now I know that I was lucky that he did. I tried asking him again where he comes from or if we were on the same ship, but he can't answer. He can't answer me. He doesn't remember. Oh, that's sad. The only thing I know is that he came here many years ago. I suspected he might have even been born here. And he has been living here ever since. Alone. Oh. Good thing I didn't kill him. <laughs> I still don't know what or who caused the crash. Or my temporary amnesia. Oh, maybe he caused the crash because he's missing. He's alone and he was missing playing with people or having someone with him. And he wanted company. So, you know, you saw this movie, Passenger? Yeah, maybe that's the same situation. Situation. Yeah. I don't even know if someone will ever come to find me. Maybe. I hope. But until then, I don't want to live... My days in fear inside a cave. And neither does he. Ah, uh, Sure, he is creepy. <laughs> so much creepy. But sometimes I wonder why I chose to stay. He had those teeth, for instance. Apparently, he said sharpen... He had sharpened them himself to survive alone on this planet. Oh, poor kid. Oh, uh, man, I hate going to the dentist. I can't imagine just, you know, sticking a... You know, a knife or something and... Oh, oh no, 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 no. Poor kid. Because he was human too. <sighs> That's a relief. Why didn't you tell me before that you were human? Kid, I didn't... I didn't know if you were real. Or if you were one of them. But I'm real. You know that now, do you? The kid nods at me. And when he takes my hand lovingly, like a child to a parent, I know by the feeling in my heart that I did the right thing. Oh, thank God I did. I almost killed, <laughs> killed him. <laughs> he just needed someone to guide him, to protect him, to love him. And that someone was me. Are you sure? Aren't you? Scared? No, why should I? Because whatever those mysterious things are, we'll face them. Together. Ah. Uh, ending 5 of 9. Oh, there is 9 endings. True ending. Oh, I got the true ending! First try, bitches! <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry on recording. I'm not gonna read that to you. You have them. You read them. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I enjoyed. I enjoyed very much. Um, what else can be said? Um, I hope you like my face. You know, like... Yeah, I don't like my butt. Yeah. Let's just say you like my face. You like my face. Yeah. Okay, um, may, be, may peace be upon you all. And bye bye. Yeah, and by the way, I know my eyebrows are big, so shut up, okay? Deal with it. <laughs>